Father God, I just thank you for uh, gathering us tonight for this special occasion. I thank you for travel mercies on the way in. Pray for travel mercies on the way out. Father, I just want to lift Sister Chanel tonight and just say thank you for her presence and the blessings she has given to each and every person in this room. I thank you for the way that she loves. I thank you for the way that she gives. I thank you for the way that she is so supportive and goes above and beyond for everyone that she encounters, Father God. I just ask that you would continue to pour into her so she can be phenomenal for each and every person in this room and every person she continues to embrace for the rest of her life, Father. Thank you for her health. Thank you for her youth. And thank you for her giving spirit. Father, we just thank you tonight. Um, we give you praise. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh. Originally, my mom was you know, trying to throw a, a huge party, you know, starting last year. And she connected with Saeed and, you know, unfortunately, you know, through the COVID, she kind of gave up on it. But, um, you know, we all made this happen today. So, so grateful for the end. Thank you, Dynamic, Jessica Johnson, and the birthday girl team. Y'all are two teams. Thank you so much for bringing us all together. I'd also like to thank my cousin, Noel. You've been phenomenal helping me put this together. And everybody else, Beaver, Victoria, Alila, Puffy, Ashley, everybody, all y'all. Thank y'all. My wife, Tia, Jay, thank you. Hey, Ma. You know, this is somewhat of an emotional year for me. Mostly because you're 60, you know? Nobody wants to see their mom 60. God damn! But you know what? You bring so much joy. You're a breath of fresh air in my life. All that stress that you're 60 goes away. I mean, you're still healthy. You are beautiful. You're smart, intelligent, continuing to push the envelope in your career. I mean, you know, I, I, you inspire me in so many ways, and I'm so glad I get to speak to you every day. You know, you are an example of black excellence. Just to also, you know, throw some insight on my mother. She's the most selfless individual you can ever meet. She makes everybody feel equally important. She continues to just, she has this way of bringing people together. Hence, you know, why we're all here, you know? And that's special. That's really special. She, she's planned numerous trips for us. She's given my, you know, her grandchildren, the world, her, her, her grand nieces and nephews. You know, she just continues to take her shirt off her back. And we're so grateful for you. We're so grateful to have you. You know, and I hope that you continue to sing and dance. Yeah. Happy 60th, Mom. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Um, you know, tonight, we're having some technical difficulties. I actually, uh, you know, reached out to a couple of your friends to uh, just say some, you know, birthday wishes to you. So we put together a birthday montage, but we'll play that on the way home. We, we, had, we couldn't hook it up, all right? So if, if you guys will, if anyone wants to say some kind words about the sensational Michelle. Actually, where's Ty at? Ty Maurice. Everybody, you know, mom, you're so consistent. Like, everybody, like, loves the shit out of you. That's how this happened tonight. You know? And, you know, we're actually better people knowing you. Oh. Listen. My heart beating hard as hell right now, you know what I mean? I just came up here. I was just having a whole different conversation, but I stopped that because it's my turn to talk about my mother, and God did. I'm going to talk. All right, so listen. She, she, uh, I mean, listen. Everybody knows Michelle's heart. Everybody knows that she's consistent. She, she's beautiful. She, you know, she, she, she's uh, 
gives the shirt off your back. She's very welcome, uh, welcoming, uh, warm, and you know what I mean. So it's just like it's just like we have no choice but to be, you know, what I mean? because that's what's lit. She, she she just helps me. She helps me out out so much, and I'm just like, mom, stop. Like, let me catch up. Let me like redeem myself for you. You know what I mean? But I, I it's just. It's just a natural thing for her. She just, she just can't stop. It's just awesomeness, awesomeness, awesomeness. Hitting you in your head. You know? And, and, and listen, this is like, I didn't write this stuff up. I'm really feeling this. You know what I mean? I'm really going through this stuff right now. My mom is relentless with the love she gives me. My brother, my, my, my friends, Kevin Owens, uh, Mark, and Nick, they know that we grew up with her just being so... Um, involved in our life and just like, you know, yeah, no, you gonna get it, you gonna, you know what I mean? Encouraging, it's just like, it, 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 it's, it's so awesome, it's so awesome. And you know, you on your 60th birthday, like, God, listen, I don't know, listen, I'm about to, hit, I'm about to play the uh, scratch off as soon as I leave here, you know what I mean? Because I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta repair back. Like, you know, I'm in the billions. My debt is in the billions with her, you know? It's in the billions, like, I, I can't even, I don't know. You know, um, mom, I love you to death. You look fire. Fire in that dress right there. Yeah, they made that special for you for sure. For sure. Um, and listen, I, I, I appreciate everybody coming out, man. Showing my mom so much love. You know, she, listen, she needs it sometimes, you know, because she gives it out a lot. She gives it out a lot. Sometimes she just needs that. that, that that, that comeback, that, that, you know, reciprocating. Um, listen, mom, awesome, baby, awesome. All right, listen, I'm honored to be your son. Terrell's definitely honored. I know he's your favorite, but, you know, yeah. Nah, 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 I don't really mean that, you know what I mean? Because I definitely get, you know, too much, too much, you know what I mean? But, uh, listen, I love you. I love you to death. Thank you. Happy birthday. Would anyone else like to share anything? Excuse me, everyone, but they hate when I give the speeches.
So anyway, Michelle, I love you and God bless you. Yeah, you coming up here? I've been blessed forever to have you in my life. Let's get it. Ma, you so damn loved, man. For real. If you'd like to come up here, go ahead and park your way up here. We got the beautiful Tracy. Hello, everyone. I am always the official uh, spokesperson for our birthday club that I'm sure all of you have heard about. So like LaDonna, I have uh, a backstory with Michelle that goes actually way, way, way back further. And it's so funny how Michelle has always been the type of person that has been the type of thread that can twine so many lives together. Michelle and Arlene and I met back in the day doing modern dance downstairs at the uh, Neptune Recreation Center when uh, Crystal and Egbert was still around <laughs> and, and, and Norma and Paul and all of them. I've just known their family for so, so long and it's amazing how you come back into someone's life and they can help you in so many different ways. I am, uh, Michelle is the reason that I'm in my house and the reason why most of you are in your house is because she has just always been such a selfless person. She is the only friend I think that I have that truly, truly is so unbiased about everything. Michelle never has a bad thing to say about anybody regardless of the circumstances or whatever. She's always that one person. She's Switzerland. I call her, she's always Switzerland. Always negative, always finding a positive side of everything, and for that, I know that that's why God has blessed her with so many, so many beautiful years, and I'm sure 60 more to come. So, I just ask that you all please give Michelle a big round of applause just for being the person that she is. The mother, the grandmother, the sister, the auntie, the godmother, the, the friend. She's just awesome in so many ways. Because of that, you know, this group of ladies and a few gentlemen have. have Twenty together over the years, a birthday club. We've lost one, our girlfriend Cheryl, and she actually, her and Maris and Michelle share the same birthday together. So Cheryl's not with us anymore, but she's always in our prayers and always a part of every celebration that we have. So on behalf of the birthday club, because Michelle is worth way more than, than two, three, four, five dozen roses, we presented her with how many dozen? Four, eight dozen roses, along with how many other bills of money in there, because who can't use cash, even in COVID? <laughs> On behalf of the Birthday Club, just to show our love and admiration for her, she's always been an awesome girlfriend to us, an awesome sister, never changing, always there, never, never wavers from the way she is, and we appreciate you. So, Michelle, on behalf of your Birthday Club girlfriends, for your 60 years of life and, and praying that God bless you with 60 more because you'll be a fine ass 120 year old. We love you, we love you, we love you. Happy, happy, blessed birthday. And if you want to come up and receive your gift from us, please. Everybody give Michelle another round of applause for her birthday party. thank you. Baby sister, not my baby sister, Michelle. 
Real quick, ladies and gentlemen, we can just have your attention, everyone. I know everybody's excited, uh, but we need the room just to quiet down just a tad bit. We appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway, um, me and my sister, right, we grew up together, right? And I, and I, like, we turned 60 years old. I'm 67. I'm, I'm 67 years old. I remember we grew up together, right? And, um, we really didn't get we really didn't get along as kids. You know what I mean? We always used to fight. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm amazed that she turned out to be a wonderful person. She looked out for me. You know what I mean? And um, I'm very proud of her. And what did you say you love her? What? I'm very, I'm very I'm very proud of my sister. You know what I mean? Because she did, she helped me out. She practically saved my life. Yes. You know what I mean? You saved my life. You know what I mean? So I, I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. No. You know what I'm mean? saying? If, if I need something, I need some help or something, she's always there. And we, you know what I'm saying? And we used to fight like cats and dogs when we was younger. You know what I mean? We used to fight, we used to fight, like, we used to fight, we used to fight like cats and dogs when we was younger. But then we grew up, we grew up there. When we was kids, when we was younger. I'm 60, I'm 60 years older than her. I'm 60 years older, right? And I was, I was kind of like, my mother, my mother and father, they, they raised, she raised, they raised them right, they raised them right. But, but I was just kind of like, a little bit jealous, because they say, they say more technically. Uh, we call each other every day, we speak on the phone. And early in the morning, she's an early bird and I'm an early bird. I love her daily. We talk about everything from A to B to shopping. I love her and I will always love her as long as we both can live. We've been through a lot. We've been through the, uh, the virus, the COVID. We've been everywhere. We've done it all. And we're still here, thank God. Amen. Amen. Okay, Michelle, love you. I love you too, All right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my name, hey, my name is Tony. I'm Michelle's oldest brother. You know, I'm 73 years young. I love my little sister Michelle. Look at this up. Hey, let me tell you about that, that lady. Michelle and Donna saved my life one night. If it wasn't for them two, I probably I wouldn't be here wishing I had a birthday. Them two ladies saved my life, and I'm grateful for that. With all my love, Michelle, I love you. May you live to see many, 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 many more birthdays. Okay? Through you and Donna, my life has changed. My life has changed so much that I'm glad the way I'm living today. Happy birthday, kiddo. Well, it's my turn. I'm the baby. I'm the baby sister. Last egg, as they always called me, Arlene. All right, Arlene. All right, so yeah, Michelle yeah. was always my protector. She always made sure that I was taken care of and that nobody bothered me. She was very, very serious about that, being the big sister. So, with that being said, I just turned into a, I guess, a, a brat, a little bit, a little bit of a brat, <laughs> not much, <laughs> but she was always the person that I looked up to. She was always my big sister. She always, you know, did everything right. Everybody loved her. Everybody cherished her and all of that. And this is why she is a very wonderful person. 
she's a beautiful person. She has a beautiful spirit. And I guess I wish I was more like her because she's definitely more likable than me. <laughs> Love you, darling. I, I can own that. People don't believe that I'm Michelle's sister. They'd be like, that's Michelle's sister. No, the hell it ain't Michelle's sister. That nasty that, I'd be like, yes, I am. <laughs> but some of it rubbed off. Some of her rubbed off on me. You know, she, she teaches me well. She's still working on me. She's still working on me. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. But um, yes, she is my love. She is my ride or die. Definitely my protector, 100%. Don't do anything without her type of sister. 100%. But that's all my sisters. All my sisters was like that because I'm a baby. You know? So, but Michelle, she's something different. She really is. She's definitely something different. And she is something special, as we all know. As we all know. So, to you, my love, my sister, my ride or die, I love you. Love you, Shelly. Hey, Shelly Poo. I just want to say thank you for everything. You've been that auntie that's always the reason that gives you that solid other side of the story that you have to think about things differently. You know, you took me in when I was like, you know, foraging and trying to be a single mom, and you took me in, and you didn't even ask any questions. You're selfless in that, in that respect. But you are definitely a selfless person. You always care about your family. Your family is always comes first. Um, you and I are alike in the respect that, you know, they call us like uh, Sonny Corleone. Because when it comes to our family, we gonna kick some fucking ass. Don't talk shit about my family. Because we gonna get you. Love you, Aunt Michelle. Happy birthday. And 60 never looks so fucking good. See, it's Toya. All right, so I have a funny story about me and Aunt Michelle. So I was her babysitter when I was in high school. And I had a job at Value City also. So she had called and was like, hey, Toy. I was like, had an attitude like, yeah, like what? She was like, you got work today? And I was like, yeah. You need a ride? I was like, how am I going to get there? She literally dropped the phone when she was at the Donna shop getting her hair done. She got to the house and tear for her next two in like 15 seconds flat. And as soon as she walked through her door, she hit me up by my neck and was like, who the fuck you talking to? I was like, huh? She jacked my ass up so hard. I was like, oh shit, never again will I have an attitude with my auntie because she is the bomb. Like, you have no idea. Where's your mouth? She's a Kia, the little sports Kia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we was bumping. Yeah. Was it Hard Not Life. Hard Not Life album. Like, Jay -Z. you wouldn't even believe we had the, the car jumping. 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 Ah, Michelle, we love you. You are the bomb. I don't know how in the world we get through because you literally are.
everything to us. And I thank you. Like, literally, you are the bomb. I wish y'all I love you. Happy birthday. So, where do I start? Wow. I don't even know where to start on the show. All I can say is that, you know, I'm, me, I'm, I'm kind of a little special situation. And, I'm special, you know that. I know that, but I just, I'm standing out just a little bit. And I thank Aunt Michelle, just a little bit. Um, I thank you, Aunt Michelle. Um, bomb, bomb aunt you are. You are bomb, just bomb. For no reason, just bomb. Um, just thank you for, you know, I don't want to have to say it, but just thank you, and you, you know why. So thank you so much. I love you, Aunt Michelle. Thank you. Okay, hey, so we have a few more, and that's going to be, we have three. We have Pat, Aunt Patty, Imani, daughter-in-laws, and Aunt Norma. Just four more, and then that's it. Then we're going to move on to the turn up. Hey, Aunt Michelle. What's going on? What's really good? Like, you already know the vibe. Young, 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 young girl. And I used to spend a night at Aunt Michelle's house. She'll never get tired of this story. I used to use up all her shit. <laughs> all her back and body works, calming waters, moonlight path. <laughs> I was, I was, I was in there. I was what? Bubble bath, lotion, cream. All that. Use it all. And she didn't care. She didn't even care. Y'all, she didn't even she didn't even care that I was using up all her shit. That's how generous she is. <laughs> okay? She didn't care. She's like, you wanna smell good? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Do that. <laughs> smell good. Use the bubble bath. Run the hot water. <laughs> okay? So that's why I just want to say happy birthday, Aunt Michelle. I love you. Keep shopping at Back and Body Works. And I'm going to keep using your shit. Okay? <laughs> happy birthday. You already know how I feel about you. I have the pleasure of meeting Michelle through her sister, Norma. And we developed a very strong, close relationship. I've been with her since I was in ABCs. And I love this girl. She's like the most strong, phenomenal black woman I could ever have met. I am truly blessed to have met her and became a friend of her. And even though we don't talk every day, she is my best friend. There's one day out of the year, if I don't talk to her any other day, and that is Thanksgiving. And so I'm so thankful and so grateful to have met her and to have her as a friend. I love you, girl. You know how I feel about you, okay? And I'm so glad and blessed to be here to celebrate this day with you. I love you, baby.
for is right We have two different minds But we're still in love We need a solution But what? We're at a crossroads Let's go. 
form that I expect this kind of a turnout for me. The love, the gratitude, the attention was second to none. I mean, we're going through a lot, as anyone knows, with the pandemic, but for this to be pulled off to this magnitude, I'm floored. I love you so much. I love you, I love you, I love you. The love that was shown tonight, I cannot, I cannot hold it in my heart. It's spilling over. It's spilling over. Thank you to my sons, my sons, who pulled this off. We were going to a family event. No way, shape, or form did I expect this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who reached out, a helping hand, however big, however small. I mean, it takes a lot to put on an event like this, especially in this time frame, and for it to be this phenomenal and extravagant, I mean, I'm so appreciative. So I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for your attendance, for your love, for your hugs, your gifts, your kisses, the decor. I mean, Jessica and Sonia and Ayana, the decor is like sick, sick. And you guys got me, got me, got me good. I thought we were just going to like a family event. I see so much of the uh, details that were put into this evening that I don't take lightly. So I love you and I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you for my immediate family who assisted him with all of the details, all of the help. He's in Virginia. Jarrell's tie is in Howell. And they're guys. And for them to put on this kind of a extravaganza for me, I love you guys. And I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you.